Today's step is about doing what is difficult when it's actually easy for you, meaning when life circumstances are easy. Let's say you are single. You do not have family yet. You do not have a partner yet. All right? That's a fantastic opportunity to double down on you and actually invest in you. Because in the future, once the family comes and the other responsibilities will come, then it'll be more challenging. So let's use this time and invest in the preparation for the rainy day. And let's again think in terms of health, wealth, love and happiness. Because life hits you sometimes and it's either, you know, it's sometimes it, it, it everything happens at once and all of these pillars are attacked and then it's time to go and open up those drawers, those, those extra special drawers and check in what's inside of them. Is there enough of health? Is there enough of wealth? Is there enough of spiritual strength and inner bliss? Is there enough of love and highly cultivated relationships? People you can count on, people you can reach out to, people you can always go back to and maybe ask for help. Preparing for a rainy day is a good saying because life life will test us. We are not here to just enjoy. We are here to be tested. Step zero was out of the ashes. We will rise if we choose to rise. And that might happen again and again and again in life. And every single time we can know better. So let's be wise today. Make an inventory of what you've got and look what you could strengthen. What needs more attention in your life? Who needs more attention in your life? Is it you or maybe it is indeed those relationships that you need to cultivate? It's a fantastic exercise once again. And um, I keep thinking in terms of, okay, when in my life did I actually not prepare well? And then life came and I was not ready. I was not ready. I was so not ready for none of that. And what can you do then? Then you, you have to be resourceful. You have to be creative. You have to be able to ask for help and, and, and find solutions. And that, for that, you need energy, right? But what if you do not have even energy because your health is in shambles as well? Then what do you do? You start again, you build again, you reevaluate, reassess the situation again. And you start building, you start building that house again. Or whatever metaphor you choose to choose to use. I could cry right now uh, about how I did not prepare for what came for me lately. Like, and that's why I I chose to go through these sixty seven steps again because. I still did not get some of those lessons. I still did not learn fully. And it's a, it's not a comfortable feeling to admit. It's, it's not at all. When you look at your life and you're like, shoot. I should have, I should have prepared. I should have prepared. I should have been strong. 
But even in those moments, um, like Uncle Jesus, you can never be really poor because you always have your, you know, that inner resilience and willingness to start again. So wherever you are, whatever is happening for you, I keep saying everything is happening for us. Look closely what is that situation trying to tell you again. Because the lessons repeat themselves until we learn, until we fully get it. Sometimes we get a glimpse of the lesson and so, you know, it appears in a different package. But ultimately, it just keeps repeating itself. We can always rise above. So, take away from today. What you could start preparing yourself for in the future. Money-wise. When it comes to your health. How can you make yourself stronger now? If you are healthy as you are watching this, then make yourself even healthier. Please make yourself stronger make yourself like get some muscles like be even more healthy than you already are it is so challenging to get healthy to get stronger when you are actually not healthy when your body is like the the numbers are just not right it's extremely difficult and so if you are are well then please Double down on that health, because that's always a very, very good investment right there. Because when we are strong physically, it's so much more easier to be also strong in all those other fields that we, that we play in life. Health, wealth, love, happiness. I'm so grateful to Ty for creating these frameworks for reminding us for putting all those you know books and everything together in this package of these 67 steps so that we have something to go back to when life gets tough i think it's a fantastic way to to actually help people education knowledge desire to learn desire to improve Double down on those that never get old. Those never get old. All right. Next time the rain comes, I'll have my umbrella ready. Or my raincoat, or my... I might just enjoy the rain. I don't know. We'll see what the destiny has in store for me. Bye for now.